Hello and welcome to uh, the next PHP tutorial. Um, if you've watched the first one, you'll know the rough basics about opening and closing tags for PHP. Um, we briefly talked about strings and integers and a little bit about the arithmetic uh, operator. Um, and roughly uh, kind of talked about server-side scripting language. Okay, so let's uh, jump straight over to PSPAD. And in this we're going to talk about um, starting with variables. Okay, what is a variable? A variable basically um, is a command. Or, uh, that's a variable here. Okay, it started with the dollar sign, which is shift four, and then it's uh, given a name, and I've given the, this the name of var. You can give it any name that you want. Um, there are a couple of rules for it. Is you can't um, give a um, the name of a number. You can't make the name of the variable a number. Okay, um, it has to start with either an underscore, an underscore, or a character, a letter, A to Z. Okay, so that's basically the rules. A to Z or an underscore is what it can start with. Um, you can name it pretty much anything you want, uh, but let's just stick to using a name that is uh, worthwhile using. So then, how do we pass information, uh, or how do we pass a value to the um, to the variable? We're using assignment assignment operator which is this is equals so var is a variable equals this information here which we're going to put down and as we talked about before strings and integers and so on so what what do we do we need we need to tell it what type of data type this variable is well we don't need to add any um, extra words um, we basically just use it by um, telling it with the um, the quotation marks. If we open up a quotation mark, it will say, well, this is going to be a string. And as we discussed in the first lesson, if you just put a number in it, well, then it's just going to be a, a, an integer. Okay, well, if you're just going to put an integer, uh, if you're just going to give the value of an integer, integer to a variable, then you don't need the um, quotation marks, do you? So we're going to give this um, a value of a string. Okay, so this is a string and as I said before to close a command then we use the semicolon so now the variable has been uh, var has been initiated with the value of this is a string and it is a string now as we talked about before we can echo and send in information to the browser because this information is being interpreted on the server side okay and then it's going to send it to the client to the browser um, in um, HTML basically or just text and the browser is going to interpret it and read is there any HTML inside of this if not it's just going to send it as normal text to the browser so we use echo and we say echo var and we use a semicolon to end this command as well because this is a command uh, we're telling PHP what to do so we'll just control this to save this come over to Mozilla Firefox and then refresh this this is a string. I'm just going to zoom in into this so we can see it all the time. Okay, so this has been this is echoed out a string to the browser, which we've already covered um, in the past tutorial. Now, what we can also do now is make another um, var. So we call this var one, or just for the sake of it, let's call this var one. We call this var two, and we're going to say um, this is another string. Okay. Now we can ba if rather than writing two echoes, we could put this um, and send both bits of information to the browser. Now, just to show you about errors with inside PHP, if we control this to save and we're saying echo var one, then echo var two. So let's control this to save, which it is already, and come to Mozilla Firefox and do this. It says pass error expecting um, a comma or a semicolon in. Um, line 5 of intro.php well this is basically because it's reading this and then it's reading this space it doesn't quite know what to do with this space so it's making an error now what I'm going to talk about is concatenation now concatenation joins um, two variables or data types together so PHP can read it and send it to the browser so the browser can interpret it properly so at the moment, to be able to concatenate these two variables together, we need to use a period, a decimal point, um, whatever you want to call it, a dot. And basically now we're saying var1 dot concatenate 
um, var2 to var1. So the information is going to be this string and then it's going to send this um, is another string. So the two values are going to be sent to the browser. Okay, so let's control this to save, come to here and refresh. Now this is a string and then this is another string. So there's no space in between here. Reason being is because this is the the G is the last character to send, and T is the first character to, to send. So it's basically just um, adding it onto the end of this. Now, what if we wanted the space in between each each of them? So what what we could do is basically echo out uh, a string with inside of it, as in a space. And what we do is we open uh, up uh, two semicolons, and inside here we put a space. So now what we're doing is we're getting, taking var1 and we're concatenating it to this next value of a string which is allowed and then we're concatenating this to var2. So we're saying echo var1 and then echo this space and then concatenate and echo var2. So let's control this to save and then refresh this. And as you can see now the space goes in here. Um, okay, so now what else can we do? Well, there's a, a simpler way of doing this. Well, what we can do is open up double quotes and we basically write in here var1 space var2. So now this is reading this as a string, okay? And it's looking, has var1, does it have a value? If it does, then we're going to display it. And then we know, right, there's a space here. Now, ah, look, it's a dollar sign, so there must be another variable var2 does it have a value if yes then we're going to echo it and then it closes with the double quotes and it goes okay this is the end of the string and next it looks for the semicolon okay this is the end of this command let's move on to the next command there's nothing there okay there's a closing tag of php on the server side i'm now finished send this information to the browser so that's it done so control s to save come back to here refresh and as you can see, it stays the same because that's all we've did. All we've done is we've basically um, echoed this out to the browser. Now um, we can also put P um, HTML with inside this as well. So if we basically say um, this is a string with inside var1, which is what the value is, and then break, and then var2. So this is going to send this to the browser. So it's reading now HTML. So let's refresh this come to here and as you can see it breaks and we read the source code and see this is a string break this is another string as I said as I said in the first tutorial um, PHP only sends this information to the browser the browser is the one that interprets it into HTML so as far as PHP is concerned it reads this and goes don't know what this is it's nothing to do with uh, PHP so I'm just going to class it as a string that's it and that's all it does and then the browser Firefox or Internet Explorer goes well um, opening or less than BR and then greater than well that's HTML and that means break so it means a line break so uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do and that's what it does okay so we've got um, concatenation in this uh, lesson is what we've basically learned we've learned about variables how to initiate a variable what it starts with um, how to display this information to uh, the browser uh, so take away from this string which is um, basically a, a lot of characters all put together um, be it numbers signs or whatever it's all all one line of um, characters an integer is a number is at the moment all we've learned is, is a whole number okay so it's not got any decimal points in it a variable started with a dollar sign echo displays the information to the browser and concatenation is basically with a decimal point to um, join things together. We can send HTML with inside a string to the browser, which is the client, and PHP is a server-side language. I'm going to cut this lesson short here now. Uh, my name is David Thorne. You can visit me at www.thornwebdesign.de. You can subscribe to my uh, website as well, which means you can leave comments. Um, I'll update you when there's new tutorials, or you can subscribe to me on uh, YouTube as well, which pretty much does the same thing. Um, I'd like you to do both of them. Come and visit me at Thorne Web Design. Ask me any questions that you've got, and I will answer every single question pretty much immediately. Thanks very much for watching, and goodbye.